one. I am Salad Blue Sister, and welcome to My Turn to Talk. So again, I am Solid Blue Sister, and this is my turn to talk. And today, Monday, August the 9th, 2021, this year is going by so fast. We are going to talk about social media and is social media, media destroying society. Okay, so what role has social media played in the downfall of society? How has social media allowed various groups to have major platforms to spread all types of propaganda? Can the world survive if social media was one day taken away? Okay, so when I say um, has social media allowed various groups to have major platforms to spread all types of propaganda? Okay. There's so much misinformation out there. There's so many lies out there, you know, on so many platforms, you know, whether it's coming from the left, the right, you know, the middle, you know, whatever. Everyone has something to say, even me. And let's go back um, about 30 years. Let's, you know, let's go back, um, you know, before the media, you know, got to the level where they are now, um, got to the power that they have now. The media has a lot of power. I mean, it had a lot of power back in the, you know, 50s, 60s, you know, when television was first coming out and, you know, people were, people were able to afford them and have them in their homes, you know, and um, before television, people would get their news from going to the movies. You would go to the movie and you would have a a newsreel and, you know, you would, um, hear you know what was going on around the world uh and this was especially true during world war ii you know where you were able to go and um sit and you know see what was going on overseas with the war and um uh get your news coverage from there so you look at where we are today. We have cable. I mean, I remember, um, I, yes, I am dating myself, but I remember when um, HBO first came out. I remember when when something like um, cable, wow, what is cable? I can buy, buy this, this movie, <laughs> you know, and it was expensive, like everything, like calculators. I remember when calculators came out, you know, expensive as hell. Now I can go get them from the dollar store, you know, um, but social media is a different animal social media is um not like television not like radio um yes you had propaganda and you had different people you know uh speaking and saying things that they wanted to when radio first came out but it was limited because of the way the world was the world wasn't as open as it is now every um group did not have access to um, the radio. Um, Even television, when television first came out, everybody didn't have access to television. Everyone, you know, couldn't just say, you know, I want to go on TV and I want to do this and I want to do that and I'm going to say this and I'm going to say that. Um, You know, there was a lot of control. Now we have social media. We have all these platforms. We have Twitter. You know, we have Instagram, TikTok. You know, um, you know, whatever platform you're looking at all these different cable news organizations um who can probably get away with more things than um you could on regular network news and network tv but what i have found over the years is that social media has become an outlet for 
um, just nastiness. Um, people who are just not nice. You know, um, people who, um, you know, just the, the vitriol and the, and the level of hate and the level of, 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 um, meanness on social media. And I'm not just talking about, you know, we're talking about COVID or if you're going to wear a mask, not wear a mask. You know, I'm talking about just just everyday life. Look at the level of social media and how it has played a part in high schools and 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 grammar schools and the things that it has um, done to our our children. You know, um, our children are being bullied on social media. So instead, the bully would you know say, "I'm going to beat you up after school," or you know, "Meet me after school," or you know, um, you know, they would mess with you in the lunchroom or something, but now it's taken on a whole different, um, it's taken on a whole, just taken into a high, in totally different level where the meanness, you know, those people get a following and some people follow bullies because they themselves don't want to be the target of a bully. So they're like, yeah, if I go, yeah, 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 then that person won't look at me. And you have school children who are killing themselves. And to an adult, it may seem like, oh, well, you know, they're killing themselves because someone called them stupid or talked about the way they looked or their clothes or their family life, whatever. But come on, think back to when you were in grade school, high school. And um, everyone wasn't always nice. Everyone wasn't wasn't always nice. You know, um, you had your neighborhood friends who would at times turn on you. You would have, you know, when you go to school, you know, your classmates would turn on you or turn on someone else. And it was mean. It was really, really mean. And when you add social media to the mix where someone can say something, you know, behind a closed door or typing on a keyboard or something and not out themselves, they can call themselves a different name. They can, you know, uh, everybody on social media, you know, has a, a name that they, they go by. You don't know who that person is. I mean, unless you know that person, for the most part, you don't know who that person is. You know, someone can be, you know, talking about you and they live, you know, 3,000 miles away and you've never met that person. You know, and with everything that's going on in the world today, the level of misinformation out there is truly astounding. And in my opinion... Um, again, this is my opinion. Um, society has become mean. Society has become a place where, um, you know, people don't want to play in the sandbox together anymore. People don't want to... Um, you know, in, engage and ha have a civil conversation with people anymore. And again, I go back to this one person, you know, that, um, you know, that I would talk to. And every time I would try to have a civil conversation with this person, he always took it to a different level. It was like, you know, you weren't able to have a discussion where you were disagreeing with someone. Um, where, you know, can we just agree to disagree? You remember that saying, can we agree to, to disagree? Now it's like, it's either you're on this side or you're on that side and everyone is just so willing to attack one another. 
And um, I would like to say hello to Elmer. Thank you for joining me. Um, you know, it, 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 it's just come to the point where, um, it, you know, if you look at someone backwards or, you know, if you look up and glance, someone's accusing you of staring at them, whatever, then they want to get on social media and they want to, you know, start, start talking about you, you know, um, there are just so many things that are just wrong in society. And I think social media has a lot to do with it. I mean, before, um, and I am dating myself, um, I graduated high school, um, in 1980. Okay. I'm 59 years old. I'm 59 years old. Um, and, um, you know, I, I graduated from high school in, in 1980. And I just remember that when people, you know, got upset or, you know, got mad, whatever, if you were to take it to the level of wanting to have a fight or something, and this is really silly now when I think about it, they would say something like, well, you know, meet me at 315 or whatever. And for the most part, you would go out and you would just, you know, argue, whatever. And, you know, that's, that's basically it. Hello, Wynn, 2688. Welcome. You know, and, you know, everything was pretty much solved in that one you know, 10 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever. But now, you know, you have people on social media who are just taking it to an entirely different level. I mean, they're getting, you know, so mean and so nasty that people are taking their, their lives. And I'm, you know, talking about high school kids and, 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 and grade school kids, you know, it's like just the, the vitriol that is, that is out there. Now let's talk about uh, talk about adults. We have adults out there who um um <laughs> you know whether it be on the left, whether it be on the right, whether it's 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 the middle. Um it's it's just gotten so nasty, you know, out there that <sighs> are we even a society anymore? I mean, we have animals who are in a, um, who live in, in shelters and, 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 and dog pounds, if you call them dog pounds anymore, or whatever, you know, who get along better than humans do. I mean, we are seriously just attacking each, each other. And, um, it, it, it just doesn't make, make any sense to me. It just doesn't you know, make any sense. And I'm just wondering if we're going to get to the point where God just comes, comes up and says, you know what? I've given you guys a chance. I've given humans a chance. It's time for me to just erase everything and start over, you know, and like they say in back to the future, you have been erased. Um, so I would like to ask people, I, I would like to uh, open it up if anyone has anything that they want to say, um, if you agree with me so far, if you disagree, um, do you think that, you know, social media has made the world nicer? Do you think it's made the world a, a, a nastier place? I don't even want to say mean. I want to use the word nasty because, you know, some things that from s some um, news outlets to uh political parties to politicians, uh, uh, individual ones, whatever, no matter what side you're on, it just seems like it's just gotten nasty. You know, um, you can't get on a plane without, you know, the very real chance of a fight br um, breaking out. I mean, can I just fly from point A to point B and without having to worry about if there's going to be a flight midair? Is that possible? You know, this is the world we're living in, in now. And is it because of masks? Is it because of COVID? Is it, you know, what is it? Is it because everyone's been in their house for the last year and a half? 
you know, their kids have, have been home from school? Or is this something that's just been growing and, 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 and mounting, you know, uh, until finally it's just exploded? I don't know. You know, I um, am, am, am an optimist. You know, I like to um, see the, the good in people. And as I told um, one of my friends um, who is a pessimist, I always say, I'm always willing to give someone that, that one chance. You know, other people may say you're an ass, whatever, but I want to give that person that, that chance because how you are to one person doesn't mean you're that way to someone else. You may have a reason for treating people a certain way, you know, but I believe in, in giving people um, um, chances. But you have those people that that push you, you know, and it seems like everyone's just pushing everyone else. We've gotten to the point where, you know, we can't go to the grocery store without there being some type of, of argument or fight. And then next thing you know, it shows up on YouTube. This is where, where we are. My opinion, this is all my opinion as a society and i think social media you know again social media has played a huge part of um of wh where we are so again i'm sorry i kept talking does anyone want to agree with me disagree with me or um say i'm wrong i'm right and i want to give a shout out to shishi thank you for joining me anybody Anybody? <laughs> okay. So I will keep keep going. Well, thank you, Shishi. Um, you know, um, I will say in terms of political affiliation, I am a liberal. Um, I'm not a, um, all, I'm not to the, to the far, far left. Um, I am a moderate and yes, of course you, you can be, be, be for, uh, for, for both sides. I mean, you know, um, I voted Republican before, you know, um, for a while there I was in independent because I was dissatisfied with, with both parties. But, you know, now I've just gotten to the point where, you know, it's the lesser of two evils because, <laughs> That's what you have, because there's something wrong on both sides, you know, and maybe that's one of the problems we have. Maybe one of the problems is, is that we have, you know, in terms of politics, we only have two parties, unlike, you know, some of these other countries that have all these other parties, whatever. But every time a third party tries to get started in, in America, you know, it's just very, very hard because America is so entrenched in two, it's a two party system for the most part. Um, but yes, I, I do believe that you, you, you can be, be for, for both sides. Um, I consider myself, um, at times to be a conservative liberal, you know, but I am definitely a moderate, you know, um, some of the pro progressive, um, things that are out there now, um, I, you know, if I were to go in vote tomorrow, I would probably vote against it. Um, but right now, I just think that there are so many things that are going on um, in this world that, you know, at some point, we're going to have to come together as a society. Um, you know, whether you believe in climate change or or, or you don't, there's a problem you know, with the climate. You know, we, we have problems, you know, whether you're on the West coast dealing with, 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 um, wildfires or you're on the East coast dealing with hurricanes or, you know, wherever, wherever you are, you know, no matter where you live, somebody has some type of natural disaster that will happen, you know, in, in their area. And given with all the, natural disasters that are going on, we don't have time to, you know, argue and disagree over, you know, 
I'm, I'll just come out and say it, stupid shit. We really don't. You know, um, I am someone who, um, received a COVID vaccine and, um, you know, whether you agree to have one or not agree to have one, the fact that we're even arguing about it, it's just, it, it, it just doesn't make any, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, we need to get society as a whole. I'm not just talking about America. I'm talking about the in, entire world, the entire planet. We need to get society as a whole back on, on track. But were we ever on, on track? You know, um, here in, in America, um, again, my opinion, this has always been a divisive, um, a divisive country. And when you add social media to it, it just takes the divisiveness, you know, to an entirely different level. Um, when you look at the things that people are complaining about and, um, you look at things that people, um, uh, are upset about or are willing to fight about. They're really so insignificant and minor when there are so many other problems that we need to deal with. I mean, no matter what state you live in, we have homeless people. Now, I'm in California and, you know, we have the type of weather where um it's easier well i probably shouldn't 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 say that but i this only word that i can use is it's probably not as 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 hard in terms of the elements for people to be homeless because they're not having to deal with severe cold cold weather but you know sometimes when i'm out and about and i see homeless people and you know I have talked to, to, to homeless people and they're not homeless because they want to be. A lot of them are homeless is, uh, is because, you know, um, their circumstances, someone lost, lost at their job and then they, you know, couldn't pay their mortgage, their rent, whatever. And they're now on, on, on the streets, you know, but Okay, I'm sorry, Elmer. I think it actually depends on who is using social media. There are good people and bad people in the same world. You are absolutely correct. You are you are absolutely correct. Um, but it just seems to me that um, meanness seems to be taking over. It just seems like that you have more. Um, You have, it, it, it just seems like social media has just become an outlet and a vehicle for people to um, push um, I, I, I ideas or, or whatever that are just not so nice. But I, I do agree, there are, there is good and, and there is, is bad. You know, what do we do to get the bad people off of so, social media? I mean, is it possible? I don't know. You know, so um I don't know. Um I'm I I'm just so, you know, d disheartened with a lot of things that um that I see on 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 social media. Not all bad, but some can be controlled. Okay, so Elmer, how would you, um, how would you go about c c controlling it? And if you want to uh, call in, because I, I would really like to know, how do you think social media can be con controlled? 
Because when you think about it, if social media um, can be controlled, does that mean that we would be able to control some of the things that are coming out of our news out outlets? Do you think that, you know, CNN, MSNBC, you know, Fox News, um, uh, um, you know, some of these other, do you think they can be con controlled? Do you consider the news outlets as social media? Or is social media strictly just you know, Twitter, Instagram, um, Facebook, and so forth. Okay, there we go. Okay, Elmer, I see you are trying to get in. You're connected. Okay. Elmer, what would you like to say? Hello, are you there? Okay, you've been unmuted if you would like to say something, Elmer. Okay, we're having a hard time connecting with Elmer, so I will keep keep going. Okay, so... Um, Okay, you'll just type it. Okay, that's fine. All right. So, um, you know what? You know what can we do to make sure social media is is, is positive? But then again, what could what, what would be positive to one person may not necessarily be positive to uh, to someone else. So I don't know, you know, um, I l listen to and, you know, um, look at, I, I listen to a lot of different platforms. And um, even though I am a liberal, um, I do listen to some of everything. Um, because that's how you, in my opinion, again, that's how you learn things. You know, um, if you just consistently listen to one side, you don't hear what the other side has to say. And you just may agree with what they have to say. You may disagree, but, you know, some people, they, you know, I find myself sometimes going, okay, all right. Um, I, I understand. I, I, I get that, you know, and there are some times where, where I, I disagree, you know, but um, how can we get to the point where social media is just, um, Social media is just something good as opposed to, you know, staying up late on, on, on Twitter, which I have done, you know, I will admit I have done, uh, and I have re responded to, you know, some things that, you know, people have posted on, 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 on Twitter. I, I have, I have done that. I will admit it, you know, whatever. Um, but Okay, I'll give you an example. This is from Elmer. I'll give you an example. In my country, a few people were arrested last month for spreading fake news over social media. They were actually tracked down. And that served as an example for many. It has, it really has reduced. Okay, so when you say track down, are you saying the authorities track these people down? The fake news was about the president. They announced his, his death. Okay. All right. So we're, the authorities did track them down. All right. So are you saying that here in America, we should do the same thing that if people um, post false things about whatever, that they should be tracked down by the authorities or should they just, you know, be, be blocked for life or, you know, banned for a month? Um, I mean, what do you think we should do? I mean, America is supposed to be, you know, the land of the free, you know, um, 
democracy, freedom of uh, speech. So what do you, what do you, you do? But I personally think that America is heading in the other direction that is not, you know, uh, becoming a land for free speech and for, for de democracy. It seems like that America is headed, um, you know, into an authoritarian state. You know, and I think social media has a, a lot to, to, to do with that. You know, um, and I guess it's inevitable that no matter where you live in this world, that there is going to be fake news, you know, whatever you consider fake news to, to be. Um, but here in America, you know, um, it seems like we have the fight with fake news from the left and, and, and the right. The left accuses the right of fake news. The right accuses the left of fake news. You know, it's like, you know, where is that, that middle ground? You know, do people who accuse the other, you know, side of having fake news, you know, are they living in, 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 in reality? And when I say that, I mean, I think people know what is fake and what is not, not fake. You know, and um, unfortunately, um, social media has just allowed so many, you know, various groups to um, to have a voice that probably should not. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, my son just turned 21. I'm still a bit confused of exactly what you're looking at. Okay, I'm not understanding that that statement. Um, but m my son is 21 years old. I did not allow him to have a smartphone. He he had a cell phone. He had a uh, he had a flip phone. <laughs> but I did not allow him to have a smartphone until he was 16. And um, when he was on the internet, which uh, he was homeschooled from uh, fifth grade through uh, 12th grade, um, because he was on the internet a lot, um, I blocked a lot of pages when, you know, when he was younger, there were places, things that he couldn't listen to and um, certain things he couldn't have, have access to. But when he got his smartphone, you know, um, and he even told me, he says, wow, you know, this is different from having a, a flip phone. You know, you know, I can talk to people and I can do this and I can do that. And I told him, just be careful of who you're talking to, what you're listening to, because everything is not good. And I don't know if it's the only child thing, but, you know, my husband and I, we were very blessed that we raised a, 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 a very, you know, nice kid. He's probably one of the nicest people that I know. And he doesn't get into, uh, the whole social media thing. You know, my son's an artist. All he does all day is he he likes to draw. When he goes back to school, you know, in 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 a week, you know, he likes to draw. That's what he that's what he wants to do. You know, whatever. But you have a lot of these kids out here who just, you know, social media is like their their world, their 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 life, their lifeline. And it shouldn't be like that. Even for adults. You know, we're on social media way too much. I mean, even for this show, this is, to me, this is considered so social media. Okay. Uh, is people bullying others on social media? I'm reading what Elmer's saying. Um, is it people spreading wrong news about politics and, and, and the likes? Okay. I do believe, yes, people do bully other people on social media. Um, as I said before, I think that's why you have um, people who commit suicide, mainly young children, because they've been bullied on social media. And um, are people spreading wrong news about politics and the lies? Yes, I do believe that people are, are spreading wrong news. I mean, that's fake news. You know, I mean, this is the world that we're living in. It's like we can turn on TV and watch one thing and then someone is trying to turn it around and saying that it's that is something else 
I mean, I'll, I'll give an example and I'll have probably people here, you know, who are listening to me who will totally disagree. Let's, let's look at, 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 at January 6th. I mean, is that fake? Or, or was it real? Did the, did what happened at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, did that really happen? What everyone saw on, on television, did that really happen? You know, or was it what some people want to say was a peaceful protest? I don't see a peaceful pr protest. You know, you look back at last summer, summer of, of, of 2020, you know, uh, when, when Black Lives Matter, when, 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 when they were, um, were, were marching and, and, and protesting, some of it was peaceful, some of it was not. You know, there were some people who did things that they should not have, have, have done. You know, um, but yet people want to take, you know, both circumstances, what happened on January 6th at the U.S. Capitol and what happened last summer, um, and they want to twist it and change it to fit their own narrative. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just think that we as a society are not going to survive. Number one, if we start, if we continue to live in, in, in la la land, and um, even though I do live in California, Southern California, you know, if we do, you know, just continue to, you know, um, pretend like certain things don't happen. If we pretend that um, uh, if if we pretend that people um, uh, what do I want to say um, you know are doing the opposite of what they are really doing. I mean, we won't survive as a society. We just won't. And I'm not talking about just here in, in America. I'm talking, you know, across the globe. You know, if people don't, you know, if we continue to listen to the negatives and the propaganda and the... Um, the things in social media that people want to push that are just downright wrong. We're never going to survive. We aren't. We aren't. You know, um, I remember a line in, um, in, in Alien, in, in Aliens, where Sojourney Weaver says, um, when the aliens are about to come and, you know, they're being surrounded. And um, Sir, 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 Sir Gorney Reaver says, um, with the aliens, at least you don't see them fighting each other over a goddamn per percentage. And that's something that I always think about a lot, that I thought about a lot through the years when I look about, when I look at our society. You know, we're always fighting each other over things that we shouldn't. I mean, our country, um, OJ28, thank you for, for joining. Um, you know, I, I just look at our country and I just look at um, how much we want to blame one side over the other, how much we... Um, disagree just over really stupid shit. I mean, seriously. And I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, 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 some of it is just so silly and so trivial when we have just so many other things to worry about. You know, instead of, and again, I may be, stepping on some toes here, some people who may not want to hear what I'm going to say, 
But instead of, you know, complaining, you know, about getting vaccinated, you know, um, can we just do it so we can get this country back to somewhere near normal? I mean, I don't know. I mean, when, when, when I listen to the news and, and, you know, even, you know, some of my friends who are vaccinated and the ones that aren't, and um, just hearing some of the, the arguments, you know, that I'm listening to from, from both sides. And I'm like, I remember when you couldn't smoke in buildings anymore. I remember because I was a um, smoker be, be, be before I, I quit. And I remember when we couldn't smoke in, in, in buildings anymore. I had to go outside and smoke. And here you had a group of people standing around a doorway smoking. And I used to, you know, kind of laugh at that because it was like, okay, here we are these, these outcasts who they're not allowing us to smoke in these buildings anymore. You know, but when I thought about it, I'm like, okay, if we can't smoke in buildings, all right, that's fine. You know, you know, I finally ended up quitting, thank, thank, thank goodness, you know, but, um, you know, it, it wasn't everything that, that we have now. When polio um, vaccines came out, everybody stood in line. They got their polio, you know, um, vaccine. You know, are you one of those old school people who on on your on on your um, shoulder you still have that little mark there where where you got the um, the um, the vaccine? I mean, you know, we just didn't. You know, we. You know. I mean, I don't understand where nowadays it's like every time somebody wants you to do something, people are just like having just a total hissy. When the seatbelt laws came out, you have to wear your seatbelt. Yes, there was some pushback, but for the most part, okay, put on your damn seatbelt, you know, from point A to point B, put it on. You know, seatbelts do save lives. You know, and again, it's like, you know, what do we need to do in, in this country, you know, on this planet? Just so everyone can be on the same page where we can move on. What is it going to take? What is it going, going to take? I mean, now you have teachers across the country who are basically saying that they don't want children back in their classrooms if they're not vaccinated or if they're at least not wearing a mask. I agree with those teachers. I mean, teachers are quitting left, left and right. No one wants to go into the, into the profession anymore. Just put on the damn mask. Yes, a mask is hot. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> but if it can just bring a little bit of peace, can we just do whatever we need to do and just move on? The things that have happened in this past year and the things that people are posting on social media about so many things that should be trivial have been blown up into these huge, I mean, the, these huge issues that should not be so huge, that should be small or actually nothing. This is what, in my opinion, you know, social media has done is allow people to take little things and blow them up into big things. And now that's, you know, that that's the only thing that, 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 that people see. That's the only thing that people see. Oh boy. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know. 
So does anyone have any comments or questions that they want to say? Does anyone think that I'm just blowing smoke out of my ass? Or I mean, does anyone agree? Do they disagree? Um, you know, I have no problem with people disagreeing with me as long as we can keep it civil. You know, that's one thing about an opinion. Everyone ha has one. Um, but um, Tuttles, I see you are here. I'm sorry I did not say welcome, Tuttles. Welcome, Tuttles. Thank you for joining me ag again. I appreciate it. But, um, you know, when you look at social media across the board and um I, I i remember one of my uh son's classmates when he was going to um or he met when he was going to um regular school before i started homeschool um one of his classmates um got into trouble <laughs> Yes, you are cooking dinner, so you must be out on the East Coast. Um, you know, I, I I remember his his friend got into trouble on social media. She was being bullied uh, by um, some girls, and my son didn't know what social media was. He didn't because I never allowed him to to to, to get on it. You know, so I told him, you know, whatever. And um, he was like, well, she's only 14. What could she do at 14 that can make these other girls so angry that they're being so nasty to her? Because his her, her mother had printed out what was going on because she was taking it to the school. And her mother printed it out and gave me a copy. And I, and I showed my son. And, you know, my son was like, this is just so mean, mom. This is so, so nasty. And it was. We're talking, you know, 13, 14 year old girls, you know, saying some of the vilest things. Vile, just completely vile. And I just wonder if social media wasn't there, would they have had the balls or the courage or would they have even said these things in person? to my son's friend. I don't think so. Because another thing that social media has allowed people to do is it's just giving them, them courage. Social media has given people courage that you don't see me, you don't hear me, so I can say whatever the hell I want. I can insult you. I can talk about you. You know, um, I can talk about your family. I can talk about your clothes, the way you look, your, your, the family dog. I can do whatever I want to because I'm hiding behind something called social media. You know, and um, I personally think that social media has brought out the, um, the true colors. It has brought out a person's true colors. This is who you really are. This is who you really are. You know, um, it gives people courage to, social media has created a lot of keyboard warriors with no balls in real life. You are absolutely right, Tuttles. You are absolutely right. You are. You know, on, on, on Facebook, I only have 30, 30 friends. Um, I'm not someone who is just going to, you know, I, I, I get friend requests. You know, I'm on Facebook maybe once every six weeks. Um, you know, number one, I should probably be on it more because I'm a neighborhood <laughs> watch captain. And, you know, we have a Facebook page. But I'm, I'm not on there. I'm not on, on there a lot to chat and post and, you know, what have you. Um, because I've always thought that when you see people on Facebook and they say they have like, you know, 2,000 friends, I'm like, really? Do you really have 2,000 friends? Because to me, a friend is someone that you can pick up the phone and you can call and you can say, hey, what's up? You know, whatever. Not someone that you just, you know, friend it just so you can add and, and build your numbers. And, you know, um, you know, social media 
you know, when you look at, 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 at Twitter and, and, and Instagram and, 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 and TikTok, you know, all these platforms that um, allow people to say and do things that they normally would, would not do. They normally would not say. I mean, you have people who who post other people's pictures. You know, um, you know they're they're catfishing people. You know, they're you're, they're posting other people's pictures and pretending like that they're, 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 there's there's someone else. You know, um, social media allows people to become someone else. And like Tuttle said, they, you know, that people they're not like in 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 real life. You are you people do become a keyboard. Warrior, and I love that term, keyboard warrior. And we have a lot of those. We have a lot of keyboard warriors. You know, and unfortunately, a lot of them are under the age of 18, and they're in our grammar schools and in our high schools. And they're bullies. I mean, and I wonder, you know, usually people say if you're a bully, it's because, you know, maybe your home life is not that great or something's going on in your personal life that is making you, you, you do that. Okay. I do think that's true, but some people are just assholes. Okay. Let's, <laughs> some people are just assholes. Okay. Some people are just assholes who just want to bully people. That's what they do. They bully people. They want to get on, you know, social media and then type on their keyboard or, you know, or post something, whatever. And then once they do it, they disappear until they come back the next time. You know, so I don't know. Welcome, the only crazy lady. Thank you for 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 uh, for showing up. Thank you very much. You know, um, I don't know. I just think that um, social media is going to be the downfall of America and the downfall of society. I mean, what would happen if social media were taken away tomorrow? What would happen if, you know, um, you know, Podbean was gone and Twitter and, you know, all these platforms were just gone. Facebook, they were all gone. I think some people would lose their mind. <laughs> I really do. I really do. I mean, I remember when, when I was little, and um, I actually played outside. Okay, good crazy lady, <laughs> you know how to self-entertain. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't, a, a, a lot of people don't. I mean, think back to, you know, before there was TV and radio and what have you, and, you know, even e electricity. You know, you're sitting around, you know, the fire at home or whatever, and, you know, you're, you're, you're playing games, you're, you're, you're reading a book. God, forget, God, God forbid to tell someone to actually read a book. Instead, they'll pull out Kindle or, you know, they'll listen to an audio book. I mean, how many people actually read a book? You know, how many people actually play, play board games? Only boring people are bored. <laughs> That's that's a good, that's a good saying. That's a good saying. That's something very wise that, that your dad said, you know, but how many people actually play board games? You know, I, I still pull, pull out board, board games. You know, um, you know, when I was younger, my friends and I, we would play Monopoly for hours. And I mean, for hours, literally until someone owned the entire board. And if we got tired, we would say, no one touched the board, whosever house we were over, no one touched the board, and we would come back the next day and we would finish the game, you know, or, 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 or try to finish it. You know, we played cards. I mean, you know, um, we used to, to jump rope, you know, we used to, you know, jump, 
double dutch, whatever, um, play hop hopscotch. We were outside playing. You know, you don't even see kids outside playing anymore. Yes, there are the crazy people out there. You got to be careful and what have you. But there were crazy people 20, 30, 40 years ago. You know, you know, you tell a kid to go outside in the backyard and play. They're looking at you like, what? You know, uh, risk. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I remember risk. You know, but, um, you know, there's just so many things, you know, so many other things that are going on this in this world besides social media. But yet we turn to social media. You know, we, we, we all do. I mean, yes, I, I, I do. I mean, I wouldn't be turning, I wouldn't have this program if I didn't turn to social media. You know, so again, you know, I just wonder, um, where, where would we be? Seriously, where would we be if, where, where, where would we be if we did not have social media? You know, and like I said, I think people would lose their freaking minds. <laughs> I think people would just, you know, they honestly would just not know what to do. So outside the real world, what you do outside to me, uh, patents use TV and game systems to babysit. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And there are many times, crazy lady, where I see... Um, um, when I'm out and about and I see the first thing, if their child, their toddler starts crying or something, the first thing they do is they hand them their phone. They give them their phone and, and have them play something on, on their phone. Can you, I mean, come on, children used to entertain themselves so many different ways. Can you give them a crayon and some paper and have them draw? I mean, what happened to that? I don't see kids drawing anymore. You know, so I don't know. Um, but social media, we have to be very, very careful. We have to be careful, not just as, as adults and parents, um, but we have to be careful for our, our, our children and, and for, for society. You know, social media, in my opinion, has be, become dangerous. And you have to be very careful. You have to be very, very careful. Yep. <laughs> Get down and, yep. You know, exactly. You know, I, I remember um, uh, back in the day, again, I am dating myself. I am 59 years old. And one of the games that we used to play and we still have it, and every so often we will still pull it out and play is, is Twister. That is one game that no matter who I'm playing it with, everyone always ends up laughing and having a good time. You know, so we don't need social media as babysitters. We don't need our smartphones as, 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 as babysitters. Crazy lady, I was telling you before you came on, I was telling them that I did not allow my son who is now 21 to have a, um, she, he had a cell phone. He had a flip phone, but he did not have a smartphone. I did not allow him to have a smartphone until he was 16. And, um, he wanted to get on Facebook. I did not allow him to do that until 16. And to this day, he is still not on Facebook. So, Who's ranting now? Thank you. Look who's ranting now. Thank you for, for joining us. But I, my hour is about up. I am at the 58 minute mark. Um, 21 now. Okay. See, see, great minds think alike. So everyone, um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I appreciate it. Um, again, Hopefully, I'll see you here tomorrow where we will have another topic to talk about because there's always something to talk about in society, in this world. And um, I, will be, I will be here Monday through Thursdays, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I am out west in California. So again, thank you very much. And Tuttles, thank you very much. And Crazy Lady, thank you. Thank you so much. I will follow you, 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 you back. And I hope to see you next time. I am Solid Blue Sister. Remember, always speak your truth. And have a good day. Bye.
everyone. Have a good day. Bye.